Okay. So, I've just been moving some bales and thinking and um, lately there's been a lot of negative attitude towards agriculture um, that I've been finding on on uh, on YouTube there's especially a lot of negative vibes being put out there as far as first-generation farming goes and I just want to see that it takes two things to to really to be successful and at the end of the day farming is a business um, you hear lots that farming is a lifestyle the problem with that theory is is that it is a business and you need to work at it you need two things you need to have one a great drive for success a willingness to do not just about anything in a negative term but I mean anything that it takes to make your business successful I guess you need three things you need you need to have that drive if you were successful in your pri in your private life um, you know with whoever you work for previous to um, your if you maintain that drive that work ethic that 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 what it is that gets you out of bed every morning and going to do your job then you'll be successful in agriculture um, the second thing is, is you need an established relationship with a good financial institution that is going to support your endeavors you need to find the banker that knows about agriculture you need to find a banker that has the same visions that you do you need to find a banker that's going to tell you, hey, listen, not right now. I see what you're trying to do, but that's not what his voice or her voice of experience is saying is the right thing to do. Don't be scared to question people, especially your banker, and ask them, how do you know that that's not going to work? Um, don't stretch yourself too thin that you dig yourself a hole so deep that the next 20 years of your life you'll spend working to get out of it you just need to be sensible you need to work hard and it helps if you can find a niche market now I don't know what that is it's very it is very geographically dependent it's it's what you need to find something that people need that's in your area number one to cut down on the cost of transportation you need to find something that's you know if you have 80 hours a week to put towards it maybe something that's a little more labor intensive um, but it can be done me and L we're doing it we're first generation farmers here on this hay farm and we have expanded into you know the straw market now we're rebailing you can't be scared to take a chance I always say what's the worst that's gonna happen somebody's gonna tell you no then they're not the people that need to help you out keep going until you find somebody that's gonna say yes if you know in your heart of hearts that you want a farm or you want a ranch there's there's all kinds of really positive examples out there of people that can do it, that are doing it. And lots of us on YouTube are willing to share it with you. So I just want to address the negative attitude that's being displayed almost on a daily basis by certain YouTubers. Don't, don't, don't let them get you down. Don't let them be the one that tells you no. Go out and try it. Just try it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to have to go back to working for somebody else. So be it. You're already working for them now. You know? So, like, you need a support structure. Whether it be your family, your spouse. People that can help you in times of your need. 
or you need a good financial institution and you need a strong work ethic. So I guess that's three things that you need. Um, yeah, it can be done. We're out here doing it.